Dive Captain Albert Sartucci. And yep, yeah, we got some of the rods in. Gonna be going nice, nice, nice. Let's see. Hey, all right, guys. So I know I was supposed to go live at 10 o'clock, but I just realized that. Oh, sorry. Uh, my gimbal is broken, or my tripod. So, because my tripod was broken, sup, block cheese, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew, you got beat by a split second, bro. So, but like I said, I've got Team Hard Life rods in. What's up, Elijah? Check it out. You all saw you saw this one live at the uh, the pier. You know, it's a Team Hard Life right there, and this is the Vexen. So we've got the blue with the green, or the chartreuse, should I say. And we've got the pink. Oh, look at that. Yes, sir. This is the one I was using. Y'all saw me pulling the drum on that. And this is the one y'all haven't seen. Got new gear. Oh, man, look at that. We topped it off with the pink grill just so y'all can check it out what it looks like. Yeah, buddy. Ah, coming right at you guys. So, <laughs> like I said, we still got a few more colors coming in. What's up, Ray? How you doing? You good? Oh, busy, busy here at the shop, guys. We're putting out a lot of tackle. And, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Your gear is actually on the way, FTW. So, Jose, mucho gusto. And yes, sir. Yeah. So, that's one of the deals going on. Second deal is, let me grab this real quick. Oh. Yep, yeah, it's a box. And yeah, it's not what it says. Let's see if y'all can read that sticker. Let's do it this way. The Everall that we destroyed. A couple weeks ago, got worked on, and actually I'm gonna read the, the stuff that was done to it. Give me just a second. All right, spoon video. I've missed that comment. Let's see. So he said he put new gear grease on the gears and pars, longer set screws inside, and he blue painted the whole rear to make sure nothing was damaged in it, and it wasn't locked up anymore when he got it. So the only thing that we can think of is that maybe it cooled down enough during that freeze that it actually separated the parts. Don't know, because when we shipped it off, even almost three or four days later, it was still locked up. It didn't do anything. So we got the reel in and we're gonna put it to, to use right there, that's for sure. Um, still gonna do the torture test on it because I mean, if the Abbott reels can make it through and that reel is $1,000 less, why can't this $2,500 reel do the same thing? A lot of people are asking, well, why are you spooling a heavy duty reel with such light line? Well, reason being, because years and years ago when I was working offshore sandblasting and painting on the oil rigs, I was sitting there reading a saltwater magazine, how they landed like a 1600 pound Marlin on 10 pound test line. I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, wow, what kind of reel did they use to actually do that? So fast forward to now, you know, it still dawns on my head. I've never been on a boat where they actually use light, light line like that to land these monster sized fish. And even then too, I mean, you know, that's all IGFA kind of deal. So it just kind of makes me wonder what I need to do to make it like that. So by dealing with Abbott reels and stuff like that, I figured I'd do those light test lines. And 20th, okay, we will have, we got a lot more in play on the rods, but again, to the story, you know, so with the Abbots and stuff like that, I wanted to see what kind of line capacities they could do just in case these guys want to change their gear. Well, obviously I gotta be able to give them some kind of line counts for, for that reason. You know, maybe they will. Maybe they'll change up what they're using to go with one of these Abbott reels because obviously they can see that it can go through a spooling session and not lock up. Well, 
the Everall locked up on us. So we sent it back. They worked on it and let's see if they actually got it done right. The only thing is right now my tripod is broken. I sent one of my workers to go get me another one. So let me go and get this unboxed with y'all checking this out. I can't really do it over there where I normally do because I have nowhere to put my tripod and hold the box at the same time. So I'm going to do it right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let me let me grab a knife. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. I got a knife. Angle this down a little bit so you can see what I am doing. Right there. <coughs> Got it all nice and painted up. You got it all nice and wrapped up in here too. You see that? You got a lot of peanuts in there as well. Alright. That's a monster size reel. I'm telling you, that's a beast of a reel right there. A lot of line capacity. Get this off. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Monster, monster size reel. Taking off this because I don't need it to get it on the spooling machine. So, we're going to be putting this with that 10 pound test line. However, real quick, I got an update on the drawings as well. All right guys, so if you're new to our channel and you're just chiming in, we have drawings going on and I'm gonna do an update on that real quick. We got three drawings, number six, number seven, and number eight, all rod and reels and line. It's everything, rod, reel, line, and tackle that come on each of these drawings. Drawing number six has two winners, one rod, reel, line, combo, tackle per winner on that one. That one we have 23 tickets sold and 37 are left. Drawing number seven and drawing number eight are both T-Rex 130s trash. Um, they're T-Rex 130s rod reel line and tackle. Number seven is a, is a $50 ticket. That one has 18 tickets sold, 62 are left. Drawing number eight is a $100 ticket. 36 tickets are sold. We only have four left. That's a $100 ticket. Now, we're also doing the mini drawings. Mini drawings on that one is where, say like the $100 drawing. I divided it up into five, so it makes a $20 ticket. So if you purchase one of those $20 tickets for this one, you get a spot on the mini. You win the mini, you get on the main drawing for the $100 ticket, and then I pull one of those off, you get your ticket. Uh, I'm at Packery. Hey, any luck out there, Gary Hollick? So, yeah, I'm about to go fishing. I just got to make a huge delivery to Pori Outfitters. They ordered leaders, they ordered weights, they ordered surf weights, and we got a huge order going to them. I'm going to do that after this drawing. Then I'm going to be meet up with Mr. Gary out at the pier. It's his birthday, so maybe I'll go live there, go celebrate, sing him happy birthday. We can all do it, you know. Um, and on, also on the mini, back to that. Number six, we have three spots available for the mini. Number seven, we got three spots available. And number eight, we got four spots available for the minis. So again, once the main tickets sell out, minis will no longer be, be available until we do another drawing or something. So again, you can cash app us at dollar sign team hard life or call the shop 361-334-2171.
Oh, you had to throw a water burger in there, bro? Oh, man, making me hungry. I ain't even had breakfast yet. But I am turning and burning over here. We need to get this spooling done because this was something, you know, we came into us. Um, our subscriber that wants his real, he wants a torture tether. He needs to know if he can be able to do that because there's monster fish that will run right into you. And, and we've had, I've had it done. I dropped the bait out like 1,800 yards. It ran all the way in until it got to the third bar. At the third bar, he cut straight across the third bar and took right back off offshore. At that point, I, I had just caught up to him, and the reel took off again, and he was gone. So for us, it's, it's a live thing. You know, People think, well, you're never going to do that. No, I have actually done that. I've actually reeled in as fast as I could trying to keep up with this fish, but you can't set the hook because they're running right at you. You're going to pull the hook right out of their mouth. So um, that's what we have to do, you know? So he wants to ensure that if it happens to him that he's not gonna get jerked in the water, you know, when he locks it over, it locks up on him and then pulls his whole system out. Obviously he's using like 200 pound test on this. We can't take any chances that it locks up on him and he loses his system, his rod reel combo or worse, he's harnessed in and he gets jerked in the water because now that's however much pressure it is, you know? And, I don't know. Yeah. People say they've done 200 pounds of drag and this and that. I don't believe it because, I mean, somebody holding on to you and stuff like that, maybe, yeah. But, I mean, ah, it just, it, it, it's, it's hard. It's rough. You got to think of your body structure, your bones and all of that. You know, can they actually withstand that much pressure of a plate sitting across your thighs and stuff like that? Or even the little belly plate? No way, man. That's just eating your stomach area. Well, anyways guys i am gonna go and start setting this up that way when the tripod gets here i can give you all a better view viewpoint of what's going on but let me go and get this set up i know everybody's been waiting for this i won't be able to get started on the actual spooling until it gets here and you can see why my gimbal is touching this and i have to rotate it over Things a beast of a real guys. You'll, if y'all haven't never held one, it is insanely big. And give me a second. I can't see your comments just yet. I got to get another phone started because now the screen is away from me. Yeah. Actually, what I can do? Check this out. I got an idea. There we go. So you can kind of see me, and I, now I can kind of see your comments while you're posting while I'm doing this. Oh. What I really want to do is once I get it all set up, anything over 60 and you have to be perfect. Hey, yeah, no joke. Oh, look at that. That's loose. That one's tight. See that, guys? I just felt it because I put my hand on it. So, why is that one loose and the other ones are all tight? I don't know. But I said, y'all, y'all see that now. Remember, Cortland Bray, guys, we are really doing it. I got my YouTube channel going, just got to get a tripod. I'm to go. You can buy as many tickets as you want. It does not matter. So if you want to buy the last four of that $100 drawing, I'll hold the drawing right now while I'm waiting for my tripod to get here. So where's my spool of line? I just had it. Pulls the line all over the place. There we go. This one's got 1,100 yards of line on it, and like I said, real thin. And 
Yep, on the mini, the same thing. Purchase as many as you want. We don't hold back on that because it's your money. You do what you want with it. Yeah, now I'm going to do another video, obviously, of the rods once I get all the colors in so y'all can see what they all look like. And, uh... okay. All right, hold on. I got to go answer that just a second, please. guys my tripod is here but again like I said I think what I'm gonna do is uh, hard life rods yes sir and yeah my last one the, the piece right here broke off and the tripod I think is like 40 bucks from Walmart and look it's already busted ah look at that. just bought it it's already broken oh man this one hit I'm going to put y'all to view from the top end here, so y'all can see what's going on. Let me change this. Alright, I'm going to make sure y'all can see it. There we go. Y'all are good. Let me start up another phone so I can see your comments. All right, somebody comment real quick. I need to see if I can see your comments on the the video that I got up to. See no comments. Okay. And they got it greased up like it's greasy. I'm gonna have to clean this reel off before I continue on because that mono is still good. I don't need it trashed after this spooling session. Um, give me just a second.
Anybody commented it? I can't see anything off this other phone. Okay. Okay, there you go. Yeah, okay, now I can see y'all. All right, thank you guys. I don't know what was taking my phone so but yeah that's a lot of grease on the inside of the spool i don't know why they would lube that they don't need it okay that's a lot of nastiness okay spool and drilling rig yeah that's what we're talking about why why we're in a boat when you can spool it yourself and get there <laughs> all right guys so let's go and get this started I'm going to zero out my line counter. It's zeroed out. Ah, come on. Go back to it, huh? Yep, yep. Let's see, let's see if it'll make it through. And remember, guys, the last video, it crapped out on us at 3,000 yards. So, let's see if it'll make it through this one. And look, I got no... It's real light drag, and I have to go that way because the spool is so heavy. If I try to go any tighter, I'll break the line. So, like, I mean, it's really light line. The rods are $350 right now. So, we're trying to keep them that price with everything going on. But, like I said, as long as prices don't go up on certain materials, that's where we're probably going to stick at. And, yes, you can use any colors that you want to for us to throw on them. We're just preferring to go with the high-vis lines or threads because we want you to be able to take good pictures of rod boat over during the day and at nighttime. So, so there we go. Drag is engaged. Let's see. I wonder if I can zoom in. <clears throat> let me zoom in oh it will all right cool i don't know all right so now y'all got the full reel in view and i'm gonna go start Okay, what happened, we spooled it up the last time with this 10 pound test line. We got up to 3,000 yards of line on the reel and it locked up on us. So because of that, we had it sent back, they sent it back to us. The customer wanted us to ensure that it can handle when he goes fishing. So, and it was during a spooling session just like this, but now I'm going live with it and we're gonna go ahead and get it done. So. I forget to tighten something. Give me a second. Oh, that's good. It's just wiggling a lot. I don't like that. Okay.
rods are 350 bucks each. And yeah, we're we're hoping the same, but at the same time too, we definitely want to try another reel that's freshly sent from them because is this something that happens on a regular? You know, we, we don't know. That was one of the things, you know, this was sent directly from the company to us for us to pull it up for the gentleman. And he goes, man, he's like, I want to see if we can handle that same uh, deal. And he, he offered it to us. And I, I most definitely, if I could get any kind of pulling videos going to build the library is what we were about. So I'm uh, coming up on 200. I'm at 245 yards and everything's going smooth so far, so we'll see. Yes sir, had to get some sleep. I had a long drive to get back home after only getting a couple hours of sleep that night and the night before and the night before that. Probably had a total of eight hours in three days. Yep. Still full of full days and had my three kids with me. Yeah, I was tired. Four hundred yards. What's everybody up to today, guys? I know you at work, you at fishing. What, what do you got going on? And you're talking about on an Everall, Tyler? Passed up 500 yards. All right, let's see if we can. This is high gear. Come on. That was low gear. I'm going to put it in high because definitely don't have five hours. My phone is about 50%, so I was trying to charge it up. Let's get it done. Yep. There you go, FTW. Young Chang. Young Chang, were you the one that I talked to that day I was in line for water last week or the week before? And uh, I already posted the videos from the tournament, but the night before, I haven't posted the actual day of the tournament. I'm still editing all of that. Oh man, that <laughs> well, you, I, I started looking around there for a second, uh, Tyler. Oh, okay. Well, it's a pleasure meeting you, uh, Young Chang. <laughs> well, I got in high speed now, I was in low speed a little while ago.
700 yards. Hey Tommy, you don't know the uh, pier's down. It's it's under construction or getting knocked down. It's out of there. So we're fishing everywhere but BHP. The only time I fish BHP area is when I fish south or north of it for fishing. On that, it's out south of the count. And we're coming up on 900 yards on the spool so far. And yes, now that I put in higher gear. It is running a bit smoother, not so much wobble. Man, so working. Yep, same here, guys. I'm here at work. Y'all are keeping me company. Appreciate y'all watching. So, coming up on a thousand yards. That's a thousand yards right there, guys, and so far so good. Let's see if it keeps working. And as an editor for my videos, I do it myself, and the reason is because I'm always looking for specific things that catch my eye or I see where I can. Um, Share knowledge of what I'm, I'm looking at, you know what I mean? That's, that's the biggest thing with the videos is finding what to point out and stuff like that. Oh wow, nice Seth, thank you. See, that's the thing, we don't know what he said, you know, or that's all he told us was that it was a, um, that he just had to lube it up. But still, I mean, you would think from the company that they would already have it pre-lubed and ready to go. So, I don't know. Just food for thought, I'm thinking. And actually, I don't know why I'm running my hand on there. I, I don't really need it since I already know this is mono. can't really change nothing on it. But see, the reason why we didn't pull it apart is because it would avoid it their warranty since I'm not an authorized um, shop for working on the Everall Reels. So we could not do that. If we would have, it would avoid it the warranty from the manufacturer. So we had to send it in to an authorized dealer for them. Passed up 1,300 yards already, so we're almost halfway there. <laughs> See, that's a good question. I don't know how much line it'll hold, but the um, average 130 held 12,000 yards of line. So this one should be about 15 to 20 is what I'm thinking. Easy. Now the real question is, do I have enough line to really fill it up at towards the end? You know? I'm at 1,500 yards and still counting.
see who gets the gets the closest. I got an idea. Whoever can get within the thousand count or five hundred yard count with an exact measurement, I'll offer a little prize for y'all guys. So, and it's got to be commented on the video before I finish, so that way we can enter you in. And while I'm talking, like, say you say, you know what? It's eighteen thousand five hundred. Is what I'm looking for—a specific number. Let's see who can get the closest. I'll offer up you a nice little prize. Yep, I hope y'all brought y'all snacks, that's for sure. Or in our case, a case of beer. We need a case of beer delivered to Hard Life Bait and Tackle. Eighteen thousand yards passed up. There you go, that guy's got his bid in. Well, Elijah, you're way off, bro. Try 25,000 if you're going to do it, because we're already at 1,800, and I'm right here. 18,850, there you go. 35,500. Yeah. So, nice one, come on. You know, Chang might be on it too, because you got to remember at the top end of the school is where the most line gets packed on. So. There you go. Let's see. We're gonna see and if, that's gonna be the real question at the end of the day, do I have enough line to fill this up? I did that right at the beginning of the video. There's four left of the $100 tickets for the 130 T-Rex. And there was more tickets of uh, number six and number seven. An R now, what's an R now? All right, guys, we're at 2,400 yards. This is 10 pounds, yes, sir. Twenty-five hundred. Uh oh, we're getting close to that 3,000 mark. That's such a habit. I always keep my hand there. It's so awkward when I don't put it there. But I, even then, the reel so wide towards this end over here and the opposite end over there, I still got to push the line over so it fills in that corner spot. Yeah, I know. Same here. And we've, well, what kind of full length? You're talking about 552s, uh, 724s, 555s, and 
And actually, I believe we have one Harrington and one Harnell in here. It's got the white grips on it and the Varmac grill seat. But he's asking eight fifty for it, and he's not in them. You know, he really doesn't want to sell them, but if the money's right, he will sell. Oh, it's going to be way over 12,000 yards because the T Rex 130 did 12,000. So this one should get 15,000, maybe way more than that. We don't know until we get to the very top end of the pool. I'm pretty sure there's a mathematician out there that can figure it up. Okay, okay. I'm going to slow it down because I just passed up 3,000 yards of line. And it's still looking good. It hasn't locked up on us, but. Now that we're going there, I need to add a couple more rubber bands over here because I don't want the handle to hit my spooling machine over here. There we go. All right, guys, so it made it past 3,000 yards. Back it up, I don't even gotta worry about that. If it's a little loose, it's okay. And thank you, uh, Joshua. Let's keep going. So far, so good. Numbers I will check back through on the feed when I get it all said and done. So and now that we passed over 3,000, what I'll do is every 500 count is when I announce that we passed up that number instead of doing it every thousand. So we'll see what happens. Thank you, thank you. What's holding you back from going fishing, Joshua, besides the weather? <laughs> I know it's cold up there. And actually, I want to say, yeah, it's about the same size as a Pen 60 knot. I don't know, I've never actually put them side by side. If somebody happens to have one today and y'all can drop by the shop, maybe we can put a 60 knot right next to this one. Because I really don't have that or a 12 knot. I can, you know, say, hey, set this up. And Ethan, thanks for chiming in. We did that at the very beginning of the video, but I'll go by again. I'll show the rods once as soon as I get done with this video. Thirty-five hundred, still rolling. Yes, sir, we are going to get back into the caps as soon as, like I said, we get certain sales going. I don't have deep pockets, so like I said, sales and new gears all depending on how our sales are going, obviously. Welcome back. Down deep fishing. Where are you from, bro? Awesome. Thank you, FTW. That would be really sweet to put that, that old style reel against something new like this. Ah, uh, and free cord. Nice. I fished a few of those areas during the Beach Masters and Beyond the Breakers and even the. Uh, uh, that other fishing form, I forgot the name, I haven't been on there in a minute.
See, I don't have much experience with the past king fishing reels or any of them. Um, the only experience I have is pulling them up. And there hasn't been but maybe a handful that have come through the shop, so I can't really tell you, bro. Um, you know, some, some have more drag than others, and it's just something that I would have to actually fish with to give you an honest opinion about it. And not having them in my hand, I can't really help out either, bro. And yeah, our bite up here has been crazy, crazy, crazy for black drum, red. They're catching a lot of trout and sheephead and all kinds of craziness up here as well. And it was after the major, major freeze. 33 pounds of drag with the line capacity on it. Thank you, Max, for coming in with that. Where, um, Joshua, where are you from? Oh, easily, yep. Easily that much fish died. But you got to realize too, with all the channels that we got going, a lot of fish escaped the freeze, and that's why the beach and uh, the jetties have been on so much fire is because so many fish are now coming back over here. And I'm stopping for a second, guys, because I just passed up 4,500 yards of line, and it's still rocking and rolling. So we'll keep it going. And I don't, I don't know to tell you the truth. Um, I know I got a lot of video when people got hooked up and stuff like that. Even when we lost fish, yes, it's all on the video. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and edit it because I was like six days behind on a lot of my videos. And I have a bunch more pulling videos of a couple of reels that y'all been asking to see. So stay tuned on that. Have you ever tried to throw in, instead of mono, go with braid? Because you can do 80 pound braid and it'll actually be thinner than that 17 pound mono and you'll, which means you get more yardage too. So that hollow core will sit flat on your spool and you get a lot better responses from it too. And since you got that much drag, you can really start putting the screws to some fish. And we're coming up on 5,000. Five thousand yards of line on this reel. I'm not going to stop because I'm trying to get this done as quickly as possible. But I still got a long, long day ahead of us. So. Yep. But if you do braid, make sure to do the hollow floor because it sits flatter on the spool than the. Break, so you get a lot more line capacity. Fifty five hundred yards, fifty five. A 
let us know we can get it shipped out to you or if you want ship us down the reel and i'll do a spooling video so you can check it out so you get pulled up you know it's food for thought guys And no, I haven't been to the surf in a couple of months. The last trip I went down there, I smacked down on the uh, Pompano. And we also did a shark fishing video on cast outs with the underwater goldfish camera. So that was pretty nice. Catch a, it's like a four and a half foot fine tooth to pick up my gold, underwater goldfish camera on our cast out bait. All right, guys. So I'm at 5,900 yards of line. And yep, look at that. Just to give you an idea of how how heavy these spools are, just stopping the spool, if I stop too much, it, it will bust on me. So that's why I have to keep my drag reel loose on this reel over here. So that way this reel can pull it off and not bust the line just because of the amount of crank it has. Oh no. Uh-oh. That's why it stopped. And I feel heat coming off the gearbox right here. It's not super hot, but it is warm. So, yep, I think it has failed the test again, guys. Yeah, look, that's me trying to crank it by hand. Um, even throwing in low gear. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna turn it anymore. Yeah, it's locked up, guys. So we made it to 5,910 yards. Let's see. There you go, guys. You got it? 5,910. And it is gone. It is out of there. Everall fails again. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. And yeah, I'm not going to give it time to cool off. It's done. I'm going to have to... And look, here's the thing, too. Look, watch. I'm going to go into free spool. It's all in free spool. And it's free spooling. So it's not that the spool is locking up. The gearbox is failing over here. So, look. Yeah, it's all the way in free spool. All the way down. Spool moves by hand. And it is locked up. Yeah, done. Fino, it did not make the Team Hard Life Challenge. So I'm gonna flip it over one more time, guys. Hold on real quick. Getting it on the gimbal. All right. So real quick before we end this video, since y'all saw it fail, y'all remember those two rods? That one's the one, or actually those two, sorry. That's the LX, that's the MXL. This one is actually Elijah's reel. We already had it spooled up, boss, sorry. We didn't do a, a spooling video because I was um, in a hurry to get it done, but those are the rods right there, the Team Hard Life. The three, we got three colors in-house. We got the chartreuse, we got the orange, we got the pink. And you can kind of see the bottoms right there. They look awesome. So there we go, guys. Team Hard Life fishing rods. And you saw, look, I still have the double drops on there from the other day when I was locking down them drum and just smoking them into the pier and even off the bay. So headed out fishing, guys. Thank you for watching. And again, without y'all guys, I could not be doing what I'm doing. And yes, sir, it's... And yeah, you're getting one. We're, we're getting it to you. So, all right, guys, I got to run. Yeah, yeah, and, and what's crazy is a lot of guys on in Florida, they use the Everalls and they swear by them. Oh, sorry. So, for us, like I said, it, it's when that fish decides to turn and burn into the beach, you know, why is it locking up like that? Well, we sent it back once. This is going to be twice, so, Manny, sorry boss, did not make the test, so... 
All right, guys, I gotta go. I got a birthday boy to go surprise. I've got a big old delivery I gotta make, and we've got a lot more gear, a lot more videos to upload and check it out. And yes, sorry guys, y'all have a good one. Thank you for watching. And if y'all haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. We're still doing our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. The best way to enter is comment on every single video that we have out there. We got over 1,600, so I'm asking for a headache. Trust me, I'm, I've been noticing I'm getting about 50 to 100 comments every hour on the hour, 24 seven. But this is how y'all gonna get in. It's a free giveaway, but you must be subscribed and you must comment on our videos because I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna do a search engine, I'm gonna go live on that one too. And the first, and once we get the first comments or whatever, we're gonna be writing down everybody's name. Now, on that, when you, every time you, your name comes up again, you're gonna get a tack mark. The first 10 people to get 10 comments are gonna be entered to the main drawing for the big fishing trip giveaway which will lead you up to the top four guys that will have the big fishing giveaway at the very end of that, that fishing trip. So stay tuned, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. Be safe.